Hi, today we will be discussing about double fertilization. As you are knowing, double fertilization is a very important topic for class 12 boards and need 2020. So let us discuss about double fertilization in detail. So who was the first to discover, to talk about, to do this? It was Esti Nawashim. In 1898, he was the first to study this process of double fertilization in angiosperms. According to him, there are present the two male gametes, which both of which are taking part in the process of fertilization. One is fertilizing the egg and the second male gamete is fertilizing the nucleus of the central cell. So this is the process of double fertilization and triple fusion together. So let us start the discussion of the double fertilization. We have just now studied who discovered about double fertilization. It was S.G. Navashi. So let us move into the discussion in detail of the double fertilization process. For this, we need the help of figure. As we were moving, the figures are important for us for tackling five more questions of plus 12 boards. So what is, you can see now the, the figure of the embryo sac, how the pollen tube is reaching the embryo sac for the process of double fertilization. So you can see that the pollen tube is carrying the two male gamete and both this male gamete are taking part in the process of fertilization according to Navashti. So when the first male gamete is fusing with the egg cell, the process is called as the syngamy. Clear? Syngamy is the true process of fertilization. Now, who discovered the process of fertilization? Mind it? Navashin was the first to study double fertilization in angiosperms. Now, who was the first to study the process of fertilization? It was Strasburger in 1884 who studied the process of true fertilization, which is also called as syngamy. So, what is happening in syngamy? It is the fusion of the egg nucleus with the sperm nucleus. Sperm nucleus means nucleus of the first male gamete. Resultant of this double fertilization of this fertilization process, which is taking place for the first time, which is called as syngamy, is the zygote. The chromosome number of zygote is asked in neat examination, very common question, repetitively asked question. It is 2N. Okay. Zygote is a diploid structure. First cell formed after the syngamy. Clear? Now, what is the fate of the second male gamete which is carried out by the pollen tube? You can see in the figure, it will also fuse with the definitive nucleus, okay? Or the nucleus of the two polar nuclei will be fusing with the second male gamete or nucleus of the central cell. So, this will be the fertilization taking place for the second time. So you can see that fertilization is taking place twice in the pro in angiosperms. That is why the process is referred to as double fertilization. Clear? Now what is the end product resultant when the second male gamete is fusing with the definitive nucleus? It is forming PEN, primary endosperm nucleus and the process is referred to as triple fusion. So, double fertilization and triple fusion is very, very important topic for this year's NEET 2020 as well as for your class 12th boards. Always five marks questions are asked about what is double fertilization. You need to draw this three figure as you can, which is visible in the video. Now, the question is what is definitive nucleus? Okay, the question is what is definitive nucleus? You can see in the beginning there is present two polar nuclei as it is visible in the figure. You can see the two polar nucleus are visible in the figure. Now as the pollen tube enters the embryo sac at that time, the two polar nuclei will fuse and there will be formation of the definitive nucleus. 
clear so that is the meaning of the word definitive nucleus definitive nucleus is also called as the secondary nucleus what is the chromosome number of this definitive nucleus it is 2n how come because you are knowing that you can see in the figure also that the two polar nuclei are present 